Uh, move on to backfield 3779 here. Uh, how much is of a security concern is it that ProtonPass does not encrypt the email aliases that it creates? Uh, they say that LastPass notoriously didn't encrypt the login URLs in their vault, which later became a huge issue after their breaches. I mean, lots of huge issues with LastPass <laughs> in their breaches. But is the thing that Proton is doing potentially worse than LastPass? It It's a different situation because with Proton, they do have to handle like incoming incoming emails, obviously. So they have to know like what your email alias is in order to like on simple logins and route your email to the right mailbox and that kind of thing. So having all of that information encrypted um, really just doesn't work well with email technology in general, which is a classic email problem overall. Uh, it's not really compatible with a lot of end-to-end -end encrypted technologies very well, which is why it's not really the best platform for like important sensitive communications and that kind of thing. Um, I definitely would discourage like including metadata in the alias itself, like um, what you said, where having the domain name of the site in the alias, like Netflix at passmail.net, you could use a random word. I would definitely do that because I wouldn't consider any of, the, any of these aliases to be trust, trusted, trusted with metadata like that or anything. Um, it, you you have a password manager that's going to keep track of all of your aliases and what sites they go to anyway. So having that additional information is pretty much never going to be an improvement from a privacy front. You might as well just kind of try and reduce that as much as possible. Um, but I don't think it's the same situation as LastPass, where that was a bit more egregious because um, saving the URLs and that kind of thing, that more definitively gives LastPass information about like what websites you visit and that kind of thing, which could potentially be opened up to um, law enforcement queries or anything like that. Um, whereas you can set your alias here to be anything you want. It doesn't really affect how the aliases work. And saving the URLs like LastPass did, there was the potential for websites to have like a lot of sensitive information in those URLs when they're saved, like maybe a token to access your account or that kind of thing, or to reset your password in some cases. And depending on like how the website is set up, that could create some security issues. So that was not that was not good on LastPass's end, but I don't think that all of those risks are the same with ProtonPass here. I think that ProtonPass seems to be set up uh, fine and pretty much how you would expect all these services to be set up. I don't know. I, I actually do see how it's a concern. Like I, I do think um, that if there was a law enforcement request against Proton, if let's say your alias is Netflix at passmail.net, um, that could actually be like a, a light gateway into maybe finding out more information about that user on Netflix. Um, yeah. So I could see how that's an issue. And I, in some ways, yeah, I think that there's something to be said about like randomizing the alias. But I would like, I, I just don't know how well that Proton does this because I know that in Proton Pass, it says this alias has been used on these sites. And I don't know if that information is encrypted. So, <laughs> you, have the, you have the reactions going. Oh my you God, it always turns up. itself on, man. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. <laughs> I have to turn that on or turn it off every time. And I don't know why it defaults to being on. <laughs> mine mine does not. That's, that's just on your end. It's, it's very, in my opinion. So... <laughs> Those are my thoughts. I don't have many more thoughts, but I think it's something to be aware of and I am not super happy about it. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.